family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Minecraft Survival, where last time guys, we made our epic, epic gunpowder farm, and I just realized that my uh, ender chest is somewhere else. So I can't demonstrate that, but I do have loads and loads of gunpowder now. We can fly indefinitely, and that is amazing. It is absolutely amazing, but we kind of discussed last episode, yes, you see those seas, Way off in the distance, that's where the creeper farm is. But guys, last time we discussed another farm that we really, really need, okay? I need more gold, okay? That's what today's about. We need more gold. And I've already done loads of building off camera because it was really mundane, boring, building a giant square in the sky. You'll see here in a little bit. But for now, guys, we need to discuss something else. And that is over here. And uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, I just ran flat into that tree. That was painful. Uh, but yes, this, my friends, is ooh, that that's a spider. Um, I I need to. I guess I need to light this up. I I don't think I ever actually lit this up. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I hate it when they do that. <laughs> Oh, I hate it when they do that. Now I've got a floating tree. I'll fix this later. Oh, that was a big mistake on my part. Anyway, why are why are we here? For the the turtles. Okay, we're here for the turtles. That is where that is why we're here. Um and because I don't know a lot about the turtles, I literally am here for one of their eggs. Um which they haven't laid any eggs yet, so that's kind of a problem, but to make sure that they don't like despawn or whatever. I'm gonna give them names. All right. Um, I have named. I've decided to name one Phyllis and one Stanley. I think that kind of, if you know where that reference is from, you are awesome. Also, I have walled off the water. They have water. They have sand. They have all the things that they need. They have plenty of that that grass crap. But also, uh, they're blocked off so they can't go that way toward my whatever that thing is called, because they will get killed. I don't want that. So they're in their own little world right now. And also, I've seen a lot of people build, like, glass domes over them. I don't know why, but I will probably get up to that soon. So are you the female turtle or the male turtle? You can be the female turtle. Awesome. And then, hello, Phyllis. It's good to see you. Uh, Stanley? There you go, buddy. Have, have a name. All right, so we got Stanley and we got Phyllis. And now, using some shears... I'm just gonna go down here and grab a little bit of this. We only need two of them, technically, to uh, to get this to happen. But basically, we're going to make some baby turtles. Come here, come here, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So they're gonna make some baby turtles. And oop, oop. Apparently, Stanley's the female. My bad. I wonder if that's gonna always be the case. <laughs> I guessed. I had a 50% chance of being right or 50% chance of being wrong. So basically, now what we have to do is we have to sit. And we have to wait. And um, I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Actually, wait a minute. I can't tell, actually. Um, anyway, um, Stanley apparently is going to be laying eggs. They'll show up here on the sand. And then given some random amount of time, they will hatch. But we don't want them to hatch. I mean, we will let them hatch. We're going to let some of them hatch. Uh, but we're going to take one of them and take it to the nether. Yeah, what is that? Why? Why would I want to take a, a, a turtle egg to the nether? Well, I'll explain that here right now. Um... Although I do need an unexplained amount of time to pass before they lay their eggs. Hmm. What can I do in the meantime? Because I need to stay in this world. I can't go to the nether and show you guys. Um, I need this I need this to happen. I, I don't know. I guess I'll just sit and wait. Here, I'm going to quickly Google and figure out how long it takes for the eggs to actually like be laid. And then, um, and then we'll go from there, I guess. Okay, so apparently it's supposed to lay its eggs really, really early, like, like really early. So, um, I, I'm just gonna kind of like wait and see. It may be that I, um, accidentally kind of separated it from its home beach, which is definitely something you have to remember. You have to consider that, um, turtles have to travel back to their home beach in order to actually lay their eggs. So that, that's gonna be a problem if I've just accidentally boxed them into the wrong location. So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna like light this. Oh, dang it. I, I'm trying to light it up. S stupid zombie. Couldn't you have just waited like two seconds? Here, let me just, <laughs> let me just do this a little bit more. There's a creeper. Oh, after all that creeper business, just a few, like a uh, last episode. I don't want to see another creeper for the rest of my life. But, uh, anyway, yeah. So I, I, we have some turtle mechanisms that we need to deal with before 
we're going to be able to actually um, get an egg. So let me um, bounce out real quick and um, settle this situation. Oh, no, there, there's eggs. There's eggs. And where's the turtle? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> where's the zombie? There's eggs, guys. There are eggs. Oh, that's exciting. All right, so I can actually do the thing that I wanted to do. Okay, so check this out. By using, oh, there's another stupid zombie. I should have lit up this place way better than this. Yeah, that was my bad. Ooh, we got a potato from a zombie. That's the last potato I'm ever going to want to eat. Oh boy. All right, so the um, they're they're able to they're able to do it. Okay, so by using Charlotte, I'm able to pick up and move an egg. And apparently there are two more eggs, so that's great. That means that there's plenty to you know. There's more. I, I only need one. Okay, I only need one of these eggs. So now, let's just quickly, I need to light up the rest of this. I need to light up that over there, light over there. We're going to be lighting this place up in between episodes and, of course, fixing that giant hole. But let's quickly, now that we have the egg, which is exciting. Oh, we got a turtle egg, and it, then it starts raining on me. As soon as I lift up the egg, it starts raining. I don't know if that's a bad sign or what. But, all right, so Phyllis and Stanley have given us a turtle egg. Now, let's run into the nether. And, ooh, those cows are loud and annoying. I put this pressure plate, by the way, so that because I did leave the uh, door to the Nether open for so long, a zombie pigman somehow made it through with me and actually went to my house, which is kind of hilarious. But here's what we're gonna do: we're gonna go to below the roof, okay? I actually um, using some. Ooh, I'm blocked in. I don't know how I got blocked in like this. Oh, I probably hopped up. Anyway, this is the highest level in the Nether that you can get to. Um, if you look at the, um, the, the little mini map there, it says 76, 125, negative 179. Okay. 125 is the highest level that you can get to. That means that there's one level or one block left until you can get to the roof of the nether. Now it's actually quite easy to get to the roof. All you have to do is have an, um, an, uh, what is that called? A uh, ender pearl, uh, and then, uh, show, uh, mix it with the blaze. No, I think you just have to end the ender pearl. You throw it in right there and then you're stuck inside of that hole. You know what? I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to demonstrate it so you guys can see it. Uh, here. Dang it. Waste a little bit of time, but it's okay. It's all right. We're good. We're good. So, um, check this out. This is really amazing. So you can actually go to the, um, so you can go to the actual roof of the nether it's really really amazing i'm just gonna put those away put the egg away too not the not the uh turtle egg the chicken egg okay no one cares about the chicken egg right now bounce back over to the farm okay so i've got the ender pearls here i'm about to show you guys something that's gonna blow your minds okay and then i'll explain why it's significant here in a little bit so going to the nether to get to our gold farm okay so let's go to the below the roof bam all right so here's where we are I'm at 125, and I placed a daylight sensor, which quite frankly, daylight sensors are very expensive. Um, oh, I already had it typed in, didn't even pay attention. So daylight sensor is three blocks of glass, three blocks, or three nether, nether quartz, and three slabs to make one daylight sensor. And then, once you have that daylight sensor, you grab an ender pearl, throw it in top, and... What is that? Uh I I don't I don't know what that is. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe it doesn't work cuz I've already done it once. I I, I... <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, I um or maybe I'm too low. No, I'm definitely high enough. Anyway, this works, okay? I'll put the video in that to, to shows it. I did it before. That's how I'm able to have a uh, waypoint on the roof. Okay, let me just teleport. There we go. So now I'm on the roof. I don't know what was going on there. I got attacked by something. I'm not entirely sure what it was. But here is the roof of the Nether. I'm not entirely sure we're allowed to be up here. Um, but it's simply just a big open flat area, and it's perfect for building farms in, especially if you need something that spawns in the Nether. And again, we need gold, right? We need gold. So that is what we're here for. Um, and guess what? Zombie pigmen actually drop gold. Um, what are they called? Gold, uh, I can't even think right now. Ingots? So small nuggets. There we go. They dropped, um, gold nuggets. I think nine of them make a gold ingot. Maybe it's six. I'm not sure. And then, actually, I can tell you. I've got plenty right here. Check this out. So, if we go here. Do you like so? No. Okay. Let's try that again right here. Nope, it is actually nine. Okay. So, that is an, a gold ingot. So, you get nine nuggets to get an ingot. And, of course, you get a nine ingots to make a 
a block, okay? You also get rotten flesh when you do this, but okay. So here is our platform. It is a seven by seven platform of um, hoppers, okay? There, um, there's a, one middle line. This middle line is leaning up or leading up to this chest, and then the other three lines of seven uh, kind of funnel all the things into there. So basically, we're going to be farming with that platform. Yes. Yes, that is the platform, guys. Um, That is a, from the middle line, 23 block radius of cobblestone. And I'm about to teleport, or I'm about to uh, waypoint my way up there so you can see it. But basically, zombie pigmen go for turtle eggs. They they go for them. I don't know if they're trying to get them, break them. I don't know what they're trying to do, but that's what they do. That's that's Minecraft science. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and teleport up there so you can see it. Bam. Okay, so here's where we are. That is a very large platform. The turtle egg goes right here on the dirt, okay? The dirt doesn't allow the egg to actually hatch. And once we put it down, these pigmen are going to run toward us. But before we do that, I want to show you this. This is very similar to the creeper farm, where you have a two-block space with trap doors, so the mobs think that it's solid, and then they fall through, and then they die from the fall damage because we are over 24 blocks above the kill spot, which if I, if I crouch, you can see it from right there. So that's basically the idea, and it's 23 blocks, because if you're 24 blocks away, then the zombie pigmen can't see the egg, but if you're 23, then they can. So I'm going to place this thing down, and oh, by the way, um, there is um, half slabs right here, and then there's glass blocks here, so that the zombie pigmen can see, but nothing can spawn here. So, and then there's a block of uh, air. You have to have two blocks of air above the egg in order for the egg to be valid. What's up, dude? How you doing? All right, so ready? Put that baby down, and here in a second, they start running toward me. They should start. There we go. That guy's coming toward me. That guy's coming toward me. He's falling. He's falling. This guy's falling. Yes, they're all coming and they're all gonna fall and they're all gonna die. It's great. Yes. All right. So um, the last step actually should have been. Ooh, I made a bit of a mistake here, guys. Um, here, let's just. Oh, dang it. Um, I need to. I need to. I need to put the slab and the glass. Um. Hmm. How do I do this? I guess I'm gonna have to break. I've only got one glass. Oh, I've got a full stack of glass, dude. I'm good. Okay, I'm just gonna do like so. Yes, there's a layer of glass on top and then cobblestone on the bottom. So I'm gonna actually jump up. Hop over here. And actually, you know what? I'm supposed to put glass. Not here, but here. There we go. Trying to get over there without dying or something. Uh, there we go. Very nice. Okay, so I've made it. So, Charlotte, do your work. Very, very good. Okay. And then lastly, we need the slab, and that slab is going to go here. There we go. So now, the turtle leg is completely encased. It's impossible for a pig man to get here, and then none of them are spawning because I'm, I mean, frankly, just too close. Um, and then we're going to go one, two, three, fill that up, and bam, we have the entire level. By the way, yes, we're hearing um, ghasts. But they're below us. Yeah, we're not going to ever be able to see them. So there we go. Um, that is where the turtle egg is. I now need to basically get rid of that waypoint. Actually, can I can I get that block? That's going to annoy me. It'll disappear on its own, but I kind of want to pick it up. Uh, wait, did I put glass there? Oh, I didn't. Oh, haha. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. So that should, and I say should. Let me just double check. I can't really tell. Should be, oop, okay. There should be a little column two blocks tall. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that means that now the uh, turtle light can see or breathe or whatever. So now the next step, guys, and by the way, yeah, I, I didn't do this on camera. It's literally like, let me do the math. Okay, it's 23 multiplied by... Okay, it's 23 plus 1 plus 23 is 47 blocks across. Multiply that by 47 blocks across. It's 2,209 blocks just for one layer. And then you divide that by 64. It is literally 34 and a half stacks of stone. Fortunately, I had the stacks. What I didn't have was the glass. And so I had to go to a um, location that has tons of um, sand. And then I had to smelt it all up. So I didn't want to show you guys all that because that would have just been... Very boring, to be honest with you, but uh, let's grab that, and 
Oh, got it. Okay, cool. So now let's uh, hop back down to here. Very good. All right, and I'm actually gonna get rid of that because if I show up there, I will like if I step on the turtle egg, I'll break it. And by the way, once again, because the turtle egg's sitting on dirt now, it's sand. It will not grow. It's forever gonna be an egg, and it will be attracting the pigment. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Yep, delete that. Very good. Okay, and then the next step is I'm going to build the the uh, spawn spot whatever so i need to go 128 blocks up from here so 128 plus 128 is 128 plus 120 is 256 that makes perfect sense okay so that means that i'm gonna basically actually i don't need to go that high do i because i think 256 is literally the highest that i can go and um oh i've got plenty of stone i got plenty of stone okay and i've got plenty of glass too good well then let's just Let's just go up to uh, level 256 and see. So basically, just like in yesterday's episode where we talked about the creepers and all that good stuff, um, you want to... Oh, there goes... There they go! Oh my goodness! It's go! It's happening! Get higher! I want to see. Oh, I'm too close. Okay, let's let's go up real quick. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, if I go to 256, then I'm technically 128 blocks above the surface, which means we're not loading any of the nether below the roof. So the only thing, oops, the only thing that I'll be loading for spawning purposes, look at that, look at all those zombie men, look at all those pigmen, look at them, look at them, look at them. Oh, they're walking to their death! Ha <laughs> ha! And each of them are carrying at least a few golden nuggets. This is amazing. All right, so um, yeah, so basically by going up to level 256, I'm 128 blocks above the surface, and that means that the only blocks in the game, in like the game that the game that's loading right now, the only blocks that can uh, spawn any kind of mobs are right there in our little farm. Oh, there's just tons and tons of gold, man. Tons and tons of gold. Actually, I just saw them disappear. Did I go too high? Or can I just not see them? I think I went a little too high. Hold on. Let me just drop until I start seeing mobs again. Okay. I'm seeing mobs pretty much everywhere right now. So I guess this is the better... The better height right there? I mean, I'm seeing loads of big men going in there right now. Oh, that's glorious. That is just flipping glorious. Alright, so let's um, make this glass because I've heard that by using glass instead of stone, it actually uh, increases the rates in which you can spawn stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Very good. And I'm going to make a... Actually, let's make the entire, the entire encasement here. So this needs to be three layers tall. There we go, and boom. All right, so this is where I need to be standing. So let's make the waypoint. And again, I don't have to use the waypoint. You guys can you can make a ladder and all that stuff. I just like to make uh, it's a teleportable place because, frankly, it's just cleaner. Okay, so AFK will be uh, actually AFK AFK Gold Farm. There you go. Bam. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll start breaking through these. I'm going to actually need to replace the glass. So pay attention to the bottom layer and put that glass right. That's not glass. <laughs> That's not glass. That's glass. There we go. And now I'm going to break this all out. That way I can keep, I can use the blocks later. And also, um, because I just, I just don't want to see this pole in the middle of everything, okay? The, the, I'm, I'm very particular about how things look, and this pole sticking up out of nowhere is just not good. By the way, a lot of people put their AFK spots directly above the farm. I like to put them on the side just because of what I've read, that with the changes in 1.14.4, if you do that, you actually end up with uh, limited or lower rates. So we don't want that. So there we go. Um, We were up there for, like, no time at all. Let's see what kind of loot we have actually gotten, and I have a feeling... We're gonna run out of spit. Wow, we've already got a full stack of golden nuggets. Oh my goodness. And obviously the rotten flesh. No one cares about the rotten flesh. But if I actually put these nuggets together, let's just see. Just by going up there, I happen to end up with, oh my goodness, 11 gold ingots. How long would I have to mine just to get that? That is amazing, guys. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, uh... 
I don't know. I, I guess we're going to go back up there and we're going to test it again. All right, so let's bounce up here. And I'm actually going to start a timer on my phone here so that I know exactly how long we've been up here. Okay, so we're going to do a test just to see how long it takes. So there we go. Timer has started. And we're going to let it run for another 15 minutes. And just... uh. <laughs> Enjoy watching the big men fall to their death, okay? I'll be right back. Alright guys, it is uh, 15 minutes of straight up AFK gold farming. Let's see how this went down. Um, I'm genuinely curious because the example that I saw on uh, online, and I'll definitely share the video with you guys on... Uh, I'll share the video with you guys uh, in the link in the description, but um, he had three layers of this, like three spawn layers and all three responding stuff, but this was a lot of resources. Remember back episodes ago when I was, you know, cooking a bunch of cobblestone and, and trying to make it into regular stone? Well, because I knew stuff like this was coming and I knew that I needed a lot. And what did I just hear? Oh, that was a ghast. I thought I heard a, a cat. Okay, so let's see. Ooh. Yes, and I can sell the rotten flesh for emeralds to the cleric. So that is amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the Nuggets that I got um, While I was up there and let's just see How much I got and um, then we can kind of do the math a little bit and figure out how long it would take to get like uh, as much gold as I actually need for the um for the beacon, there we go, that's the word. <laughs> yes, this is exciting. All right, so we'll put that there, that there, bada bang, bada boom. This is not the way I should have done this, but, oh, cool. I didn't know you could do it that way. Um, but yeah, uh, so it looks like we've got pretty much a full stack or nearly a full stack of gold. Look at that, 55, um, Lovely ingots. So that means that I got six. Okay, so here's what we got in 15 minutes. We got six blocks. We got one ingot and two nuggets. So for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna say that we get six blocks of gold every single 15 minutes, which means you multiply that by four and you end up with 24 blocks of gold per hour. That's I don't know if that's any good or not compared to other rates. I don't remember any of that type of information but what what I do know is that we need what do we need okay so we're gonna do uh top layer is gonna be uh, diamond next will be emerald and then next will be gold so that means we need 49 blocks of gold which means 24 multiply that by two that gets us to 48 so basically I need two hours I need two hours of AFK time and I'll have plenty of gold in theory, uh, to actually build up and finish our beacon, which is super exciting, guys. So, that is... Whoa, I have I have more gold ingots? Where did that... I think... Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't remember. All right, well, we got an extra block of gold. That's awesome. So, um, so yeah, guys, I... um, Let me see. I don't even know. 15 minutes minus 20. So, we're, we're, it'll be a, a little bit of a shorter video. You know what? I'm going to... Wow, that's scary when <laughs> when they fall. And that's funny. I didn't know that they could spawn when I'm up here. Obviously, it, there's a lot less spawns when I'm when I'm up down here because 128 blocks down is also active and the, the nether is down there. So there's clearly mobs spawning down there. But that's why being above this thing is so much better. But it looks like I got five more nuggets. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Actually, you know what? I should probably... Uh, I should probably... Nah, I mean, that's that's a lot of space. I should probably go home. You know what? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to teleport to the portal. It's too bad I can't, like, teleport straight from the top of my gold farm to my house. But, you know, got to go through the portal first. That is awesome. I can't believe it. It actually worked. I love it. When these farms work and it gives us loads of... What's up, fish? How you doing? Uh, when it gives us loads of... um. Loads of loot of whatever it is that we're looking for. It is just amazing. So here, here's here's what I'm talking about in case you guys don't know. I'm trying to work on this beacon, okay? This beacon 
is basically on weenie status right now. It's totally lame. It's on status number one. We need to go one, two, three more layers down. And of course, it gets wider. So you get nine blocks at three by three. And then the next layer down would be five by five, which is 25. The next layer down would be seven by seven, which is 49. And then a nine by nine, which is 81. So obviously, I've got the diamond set up. I'm going to do emeralds next. And I've got plenty of emeralds, actually. We can go ahead and do that so that we know what's coming. Or at least I think we have enough emeralds. Now that I know that I can get enough gold in two hours or so, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this. Okay, so let's just, uh, we're gonna need 25 of these babies. Oh, I had 25 in my hand. There we go. All right, so blocks of emerald, and it's actually pretty easy for me to get emerald, but now it seems like it's even easier for me to get gold, which is just awesome. So let's grab this. There we go. And we're gonna go just like so and fill in this section, and it'll level up our beacon, and the effects will... I think get further and further away like it'll be more and more effective bam there we go so that means that now we should see the second layer nice all right so this one's now active that's awesome i've got it on speed but if i want to i guess like jump boost now i jump higher this i think i jump higher do i jump higher oh no i to change it to change it i have to feed it something like I, if i wanted to let's just let's change it to uh jump boost for fun okay Put that in there, and boom. There we go. So now it is um, jump boost. Jump boost is now the new one. So if I jump, ooh, I go higher. That's awesome. Let's just watch. Let's watch this. Watch, watch, watch. Boom. Oh, I get, I can jump higher. Ha <laughs> ha. That's cool. It's not near as cool as, um, I don't know. To me, being able to run faster is better. But still, that's awesome. So, but, excuse me. Uh, but that's awesome. So I'm going to put in another iron ingot. We're going to change it back to speed. Boom. And now the effects... I have our speed. Okay, so now I run faster, and because we put the second layer, the radius in which this is effective is a little bit further out, and that's why I want to expand the layers a little bit. So the next layer will be 49 blocks of gold, and then the layer below that will be 81 blocks of iron. I've got the iron already. All I need is the gold, and that's why we built the farm. So next time, we'll be finishing up the beacon, and then what are we going to be getting up to? Why am I so concerned about finishing this thing up well obviously with speed able to move faster with resistance i think that just makes you better at resisting uh regeneration if you get destroyed you you know if somebody attacks you you gain health haste makes you a faster miner Ooh, jumping and of course strength so why would i need these things in this area well, you'll find out next time, guys. So that is all for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. And if you're stoked about having loads and loads of free gold, it is amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him. Look at it. Look at that. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so I'll be AFKing a bunch in the gold the uh, the gold farm net, or between episodes. So anyway, that's all for me. I love each and every one of you. Be sure and like the video. Subscribe for um, daily gaming videos. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.